Hi guys, Dr. Orna here. This morning I saw an article that a friend of mine posted saying that a lot of people who have their life's work being about plants don't know how to identify plants. Obviously, if you've been following me at all, you know that I think this is an absolutely terrible idea. This is coming from a shift in botany away from identifying plants by observable characteristics, stuff that you and I can see, and shifting to DNA analysis. Now, that can give us some really cool information, but it takes away from the lived experience, and we shouldn't lose that, because I think that that just increases our enjoyment of the world and of being out in it. But there are three specific reasons that I think it's really important that everybody should be able to do some basic plant identification. So, number one, botany saves lives. Earlier this year, I posted a story of a friend of mine who has two young kids, they're twins, and they were out in the yard and they were playing with a plant and you know, plants, kids, yards, mouths, that all happens, right? And so she saw them playing with the plant. And she's like, oh, my cute kids. Oh, my cute kids playing with plants, yay plants. What is that plant? Oh, I know that plant. That plant is a poison plant. No, 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 no plants in mouths. And she dug the plant out of her yard so that her kids would be safe from it important. Botany saves lives. There are also plants that can look very similar and until you start looking closely you can mistake a poison plant for a productive plant. So a classic example of this is the carrot family which has some of our most important foods, carrots, some of our most important medicines, and also some of our deadliest poisons. So just having the tools to be able to discern, this is a little different, or do I actually know what this is, I think is super important. Number two reason to be able to identify plants. You know I've talked about this all year, that it's important to love the plants you're with. So this year we saw um, supply chain disruptions and things that we might have wanted to get we couldn't get and so having the tools to rely on the plants around you I think is really important and if you don't have a positive ID you are taking a risk so see point number one botany saves lives I also think that aside from it just being more enjoyable to be able to identify plants I'm in my park and there's people walking by with dogs. So it's not just more enjoyable, but it sort of grounds us in the place. So you go out to the park like this and you look at the trees and you can say, oh, I know you, I remember you. And it just deepens our experience of place. And even if you're in a place that you don't necessarily love, it, it gives you something I think to enjoy about that place. Reason number three herbalists have friends wherever we go. Once you start learning plants and being able to recognize plant characteristics and start to identify plant families and genuses, everywhere you go you start to see plants that you know or that look like plants that you know and may be related. So my example of this is a bunch of years ago I was lucky enough to go on a trip to India with my mom it is literally halfway around the world from where I live in Oregon. I didn't expect to recognize anything, but there was this one plant that I kept seeing that kept popping up. It was a weed, it was growing everywhere. And I'm like, I think I know you. I think I know you. And finally, I was able to determine that yes, in fact, this was a plant in the Asclepidaceae family, probably an Asclepius, which is related to plants that grow native here and that are familiar to many of us, both as ornamentals, as food for monarch butterflies. It's, um, one of the Asclepius species is called butterfly bush sometimes because it's food for monarch butterflies. And also important medicine, Asclepius tuberosa is a classic herb used for lung stuff in specific circumstances. So there I was halfway around the world and 
I can't say if that plant was poison, if that point plant was edible, if that plant was medicine. I don't know if butterflies used it for food, but I knew that it was a relative of a plant that I knew. And that just gave me a little bit of a sense of being not so far away or in a, in a more global sense, this idea that the world is one small place and there are relations everywhere you go. So three reasons why it's super cool to be able to positively identify plants. One, botany save lives. Two, love the plants you're with. Three, herbalists have friends wherever we go. What's not to love about that? So thank you very much for watching. I have two or three more parts of this series that I'm going to record probably today. So do check back here to see if they are posted yet. Um, please do subscribe, like, share, tag friends. Um, and if you have any questions, if you need any resources, do let me know in the comments. Take care, bye.